Hello and welcome to the demo station. Kelly and I will demonstrate for you about urine flow, which is very, very important. It is important to make sure that the flow of urine is unobstructed. If it is obstructed, meaning it cannot flow continuously, the patient is at high risk for developing a cardi just from urine flow. So let's take a look at his tubing. When we make cardi rounds on the units and in the ICUs, we consider this obstructed. I know it's very easy for catheter tubing to be positioned like this, but in order for the urine to flow properly in a vacuum, which is where it, it is placed, this curve cannot be here. This is a dependent loop and it cannot be here. So what I'm going to demonstrate now is the positioning of the horizontal bed loop using the green sheet clip. I've heard often that it's hard to get that loop in place. So just as I pick this up and I'm manipulating the tubing while keeping the bag below the level of the bladder, that will help you to be able to achieve that horizontal bed loop. So I have positioned my tubing in such a way that I can make a loop on the top of the bed with a straight line to the urine meter near the foot of the bed. The loop must never hang like this, but it is perfectly fine to hang in this position. I have my clip in place to hold it in position and it can either lay like this, which is what it's trying to do, or in any other manner, as long as it is flat and I have a straight line down to my urine bag. Sometimes the clips break. So we have prepared bags that you can take with you to have extra clips if the patient must continue the catheter. However, the best way to prevent a cardi is as soon as the catheter is ordered to be removed, please remove it. Policy states within two hours of the order. One final note on tubing position is with the securement device. Kelly has a stat lock attached to his tubing. It is very important on where it is placed. The position of the tubing is inner thigh, but top most part of the inner thigh, which means it wouldn't be over here, it would be close to the top. And please be sure the tubing is positioned correctly so that the stat lock will not be an obstruction to flow as well. So with this, I'm going to place Kelly's catheter on his thigh, topmost part of the inner thigh. I will position his tubing toward the middle. slow or fast continuous dripping into my urine meter. That is considered unobstructed flow. Thank you.